Okay, we're uh, we're back again. So this time we'll be doing um, two psychos and another four survivors. Might get one of the cutscenes for the plot as well. Not a major one, it's just a little one, but we might get it. First of all, we've got to head on over to the North Plaza, which I don't think I've been to yet on this playthrough. North Plaza's pretty handy, it's got a, the only gun shop. Um, it's got another shop with a bunch of blades and swords and the like. And then a supermarket full of food and wine, so... Yeah, no matter what you need, really, um, North Plaza's the place to go to get it. Oh, I'll also be opening up a really handy shortcut um, during this bit. And trust me, once you open up this shortcut, you will use it all the time. Just a shame that if you already know where it is, you can't start using it from the start of the game. Also, just going to top up my health here, um, running a bit low on it. You can um, you can blend drinks together, which is quite a nice little feature. It's like if you put two orange juices together, it creates a uh, a nectar. And the special effect of that is that a queen will appear, um, which is good because you know queens take out huge hordes. Uh, there are other ones you can get. One's called Quick Set, which makes you run faster. Um, well, there's a queen. If I can. If I can catch it. No. <laughs> this is ironic. I was saying earlier about how easy he found this, and now he can't grab the. There we go. Also, just grab another sword while I'm here as well. Um, kind of all out of melee weapons. Now into Leisure Park. Those those convicts are still here, so um, we're just gonna skate straight ac across and hope we don't come into them. If we do bump into them, I've still got the Mega Man glasses, so we'll be fine. But they're just a pain in the ass. to North Plaza. Should get a call from Otis as well, this will count towards Transmissionary yeah. just telling me that I'm in North Plaza. Again, I don't get it, I keep answering all these calls in each playthrough I do and I still don't seem to have Transmissionary. Maybe there's just like one little call that I'm missing. I really don't want to use a guide for it, but if I don't pop that achievement this time I might have to, just to see, you know if there's a call I'm not getting or something. Just try and get to this gunshot. <laughs> Nicely hidden, isn't it? The hunting shack. And this is Cletus, our next psychopath. James is going to try and reason with him. See how that goes. I trust them damn zombies about as far as I can throw them, but I trust people even less. Don't shoot. Look, let's <laughs> talk this over. You can talk to my trail gauge. Don't get no closer. I'll blow you all to kingdom come. Hey, hang on. And that's what you get for using reasoning with a red pack. Oh, God damn it, I warned you. <laughs> In a situation like this. I can't afford to trust nobody! Okay, now, if you stand behind one of these, his shots can't hit... What the hell? If you stand behind one of... If you stand behind these, his shots shouldn't hit... What the hell? You use those for cover, everyone knows that. Okay, let's fire back. Nope, not get. Oh, great, I shot my stand out of the way. 
just gonna have to pummel him and poke him. Hey, I got him. That was embarrassing. <laughs> Damn. Damn, mister. Now watch him Go get his now. just desserts. I think what, this is crazy? really quite justified. You want good so bad that y'all are willing to kill for him? Let me go. Hey, please. Hey, wait. Hey, it's Zombie James. Yep. Killed by the man he just killed. Bet that can only happen in a zombie apocalypse. And there is James. Slice! <laughs> Alright, just go back in here. Saw my health a bit first. Would be helpful. Grab me a shotgun, then another shotgun. Sniper rifle, sniper rifle, shotgun. Oh yeah, three shotguns. This is gonna be fun. Some people say it's best to handle shotguns to survivors because um, they've got a good blast radius and. You know, take out a fair few zombies when you use them, but I don't trust survivors with these things. I really don't. Like, half the time I give survivors shotguns, they end up shooting me, so I'll usually give maybe one or two survivors in a group a gun, and the rest will have a sword or a hunting knife or something that they can't hit me with. That's a goddamn pain in the ass. Right, we now have to wait until 9 o'clock for one scoop and 10 o'clock for another scoop. Both of them are in Wonderland Plaza, um, which we haven't been to yet either. Again, the game likes to do this thing of we're going to give you a scoop in an area, you're gonna go, you're gonna get the survivors, you're gonna get out of that area, and then we'll give you another scoop from the area you just came from. And the best way to beat that tactic is to just wait the extra hour until the second scoop comes through and say, well, screw it. Works pretty well for me. Oh, and this is the uh, this is the shop I was talking about with all the swords and everything. It's quite a handy little place to come to. Um, we've got time to kill as well, so we're just going to grab some swords. If anything, I'm way too efficient at this game now. I do things way too quickly. Oh, and this is fun. You can make Frank bald! Yeah! But if you press return, Cloves, magically grow your hair back. Oh, and that's Otis. And fuck's sake, grab by a zombie again. I hate those things for doing that. As soon as I get a call, I gotta wait for him to call back. Don't cut me off like that, it's rude. Anyway, here's what I was saying. Space ride machine in Wonderland Plaza looks like it's going out of control. Maybe someone's out there, you wanna check it out? It's a call for Adam the Clown. No matter what you're doing, what type of playthrough you are doing, do this <laughs> little case. Honestly, it's so handy. If you do Adam the Clown, you will get the small chainsaws, probably the best weapon in the entire freaking game. You will get the shortcut between Paradise Plaza and Wonderland Plaza, which means you never have to go out into Leisure Park where those convicts are. And it's also incredibly handy for anyone going for the endorsement achievement. Um, yeah, it's just the benefits are outstanding for doing it. Um, not to mention, Adam the Clown is hilarious. It'd be good if I could hit him with this thing, wouldn't it? There we go. Like it with this sword as well, if you 
jump and then press the attack button, you'll do a special swipe down, which will take, um... There we go, 10 PP. A little bit extra experience, not much, but it's there. Uh,